G'day, Nick Bowditch. Um, today I want to talk about uh, therapy and the outcomes of therapy, and and I have and this comes up because, um, as some of you know, I have for for years now um, uh, done sessions with people around coaching and mentoring, and and always sort of stayed shy of the therapy side of it, that personal development side of it. When it got to that conversation and away from a business conversation, I would sort of go, ah. Oh, Look, you know, it's not really for me to help you here. I don't have any kind of qualifications in counselling or whatever. And I would refer people away. Um, that is until last month when I finally uh, got uh, my Diploma of Counselling um, certification, qualification. And so lately I've been offering therapy as part of my product offering as well. And I've just completed the first kind of 20 sessions with different people and so I thought I'd share, I'm certainly not, you know, what, we, what we've talked about or, or anything like that, but um, just sort of shared some lessons that I have learned from that experience, um, which I think um, well, yeah, might, be, might be interesting and, and helpful for you as well. So I think the, the very first thing that, that comes to mind all the time when I do this stuff, and, and certainly from the first few sessions that I've done with other people is everybody who goes to see a therapist or everybody who has coaching or counseling or mentoring or seeks um, counsel of somebody else, they, they seem to, not all, because I, you know, I don't throw blankets over things, but I think a great number of these people, like me, um, seek out connection. What they're lacking is human connection. And, and that might... You know, that doesn't necessarily mean a spouse or, or children or anything else. It can be, you know, some people can be very alone in a very busy community. Um, some people can be in a room of 100 people and feel totally alone. I know that I, I can feel like that. So, um, you know, that's, that's kind of the first thing that comes out of everybody that I've spoken to in the last few weeks um, in that therapy kind of... Uh, dynamic and interaction is a big part of what they're missing um, and searching for is that connection. And I know it's, it's kind of a real kick up the ass for me because, you know, I, I, I'm in therapy as well, obviously. And, um, you know, I, I kind of prided myself for a long time on my ability to not need anybody else you know, to, uh, to be that island that, you know, I thought I could be. And obviously, you know, I was wrong. So that's the first thing. And then the second one, um, this is going to sound really woo-woo and, and, and hippified, but, you know, it's about love. Um, there seems to be three kind of constants when it comes to people who, who I've spoken to in the last few weeks, especially, um, and that is that, they love someone who doesn't love them. Someone loves them, but they don't love that person. Or almost universally, they have very little love, if any love, for themselves. I, I, I mean, this is the blanket thing for me. This, if there is one, if there is a universal trait of people who have presented to me for the therapy side of my, my product offering and my business is that they have no love for themselves. They have no empathy for themselves. They don't think they're deserving of it. They don't think they're enough. Um, and that's brutal, man. Like, I, I feel that way sometimes also, you know, about myself and I kind of check it now and and I can check it and 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 kind of reorient, but and myself, you know, to, to that not being so true, there are things about me that I, that I wish weren't true, and there are things about me which I'm not, which I don't love, but I have grown to a place now where I do love myself, um, and where I think that I'm worthy of love, and I'm worthy of good things, and I'm deserving of what I have. Um, you know, that's, that's a big that's a big one for me. Um, and it's a universal, almost universal thing that, that uh, people have 
come to me with is, is you know, that's the first thing that stands out for them. I just, I just can't seem to um, get past this, is this, this complete lack of self-love or self-empathy, you know, they, this complete lack of knowing that they're okay, that they're enough, um, you know, and that's, that's brutal. It's really hard to hear. It's really hard to sort of hear someone say, and then, you know, as as a, as a counselor, it's hard to kind of talk people out of that as well, because that's a that's a really ingrained truth for a lot of people. And and no matter how I, how much I think it's not true, or how much I try to talk them out of that, you know, that's a that's a pretty pretty well kind of drummed into the them thing that they they've talked themselves into the fact that they're not good enough and sucks you know so you know I, I, I that's the kind of the two things that have come out just from the first few sessions that I that I feel like is a universal kind of thing that we could all benefit from is is um you know uh, to have a little bit more self-love or some self-love to have some empathy for yourself to be able to say you know what with all of my flaws with all of my superpowers, oh, I'm still okay. I'm still worthy. I'm still worth it. I'm still deserving. You know, I, I, I'm enough. Um, that's a really big thing. And then, and then also then just to seek that connection, um, whatever that connection is for you. You know, I don't, I don't want, I don't want a thousand really good friends. I don't want people ringing me every five minutes. I don't. You know, that's not the connection that I yearn for um but it might be what you yearn for and that's fine you know we don't all have to have the same level of connection but i but i do feel like and particularly the people who who presented to me and, and we've talked about their addiction addiction is more and more i, I understand this <laughs> that addiction is the opposite to connection you know the antidote to, to addiction is is connection um into whatever matrix you want to be connected into, I think that's a really, really important thing. Okay, so that's it for today. Um, I'm, I'm, as I said, I'm more than happy to sort of um, be able to be here and help people if they want that sort of part of the service is, is, is that therapy side of it. Um, just go to my website and click on the menu and you'll find um, the links through to it. Um, but otherwise, I hope you're having a great Tuesday wherever you are. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.